You went to your pal's second cousin's house the other day. <sighs> Why are you now? Getting you. What's well, bad? <laughs> I'm so bad. What's the frequency, Kenneth? Have you ever been to Dan's second cousin's house? Who, Garrett? No, Jarrett. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I put a field car in their back pond one time and have not been welcomed back. Oh, sure you are, good buddies. Oh, oh I'm, I'm good, good buddy. And why would that be, Wayne? Because Dan's second cousins have the biggest hick house I have ever seen. Wayne's. I can beat it. No, you can. Can too. And not. Can and will. Katie, is this because we just came back from my second cousin's house down the side road? Darius' second cousin's house down the side road is the biggest hick house I have ever seen. Katie! Look. You are familiar with our stance on personal hygiene, so it should be no surprise our stance on home hygiene. Sounds like you want to go head to head, Katie. I'm ready for a hick off. You guys gonna hick off in front of each other? Right here, right now? I hicked off earlier today. Dan's second cousins have the biggest hick house I've ever seen because... You said you were gonna grab us some more beers before all this, but you know, whatever. Derry's second cousins have the biggest hick house I've ever seen because... Well, let's just make sure nobody's feelings are gonna get hurt here. When you pull up the laneway, a llama comes trotting up to your door the way a dog would. That's Cody. There's a Planned Parented billboard on the property right beside another billboard that says, Smile, your mom chose life. Well, I thought it was good to stay bipartisan. There's a substantial ring of blood in the bathroom sink, shower, and toilet. Okay, define substantials. There's two Jack Russell Terriers in the kitchen standing side by side licking the wall. Yeah, they're wire-haired Jack Russells, though. I mean, we're splitting hairs. There was a patch of black ice inside the door that Dan's little cousins were playing ball hockey on, and one of them sticked me in the face. Oh, that'd be Cody. He's on the spectrum. Wait, the kid and the llama are both named Cody? Well, Cody got to name the llama, so... And then there was a toddler drinking a two-liter of cream soda wearing a onesie that said, Sex Instructor, First Lessons Free. That's Cody Jr. It's Cody's boy. There was bird shit on the carpet inside. You can't prove that bird shit. The floors are so slanted, Dan's cousin's GT from room to room. Now that is a Brett Hall's edition's GT's racers, and I challenge any of you to find one of those nowadays. One of their living room chairs is just a flipped over blue box. They call a bucket in the closet an ensuite bathroom. There was a car parts titty calendar on the fridge. Dan's uncle showed me a nude photo of Dan's aunt that he keeps in his wallet. Aunt Nancy's? They keep the windows open all winter because the whole place just smells like Yes. Well, it may smell like that to you, but... There's an impossible amount of subway wrappers beside the toilet. Ew, you use the en-suites? Derry's second cousin burned his eyebrows off cooking meth. Yeah, that one won't be beat. Dan's uncle has too many DUIs to drive truck, but still somehow drives a school bus. Yeah, now that one won't be beat. <sighs> I did see what could only be a glory hole. Katie, my aunt and uncle's sex life is none of your beeswax. On the side of the goat pen. Oh! You win.